In this video, we are going to discuss a previous gate problem related to final value theorem in Laplace transforms. You can observe the problem here. The Laplace transform of I of t is given by I of s is equal to 2 by s into 1 plus s at t tending to infinity the value of I of t tends to. They given transform of I of t. So, here we are having spectrum of I of t but we do not know this signal. Whenever spectrum is known and signal is unknown, so we can find initial and final value of the signal by taking initial and final value theorems under consideration. They are asking at t tending to infinity the value of i of t tends to. They given some options like 0, option b infinity, option c 2, option d none. Like this they given options. Here what we need to find out means First of all, we need to find out the value of i of t, the value of i of t at t tending to infinity. So, at t tending to infinity value of i of t means i of infinity. i of infinity is nothing but final value of i of t. If spectrum of i of t is known and signal is unknown, we can trace the final value of the signal by using final value theorem. That final value theorem states that i of infinity is equal to limit s tends to 0 s into i of s. Whatever spectrum is there, that spectrum we need to multiply with s and we need to substitute limit s tending to 0. So, I am just substituting that i of s here. So, limit s tends to 0 s into in place of i of s, I am just substituting s into 1 plus s. I am going to cancel this s and s. I am going to get 2 by 1 plus s here. If I substituted s tends to 0 here, then what I am going to get means 2 into 1 plus 0. So, this is equal to 2. Your final value when spectrum is equal to 2 by s into 1 plus s is equal to 2. So, the right option for this problem is 2. So, sometimes they will ask like this. They will not ask what is the value of final value of i of t, what is the i of infinity value like this they will not ask directly they may ask like this also that means what is the value at t tending to infinity the value of i of t tends to it will tends to 2. If t tending to infinity the value of i of t tends to 2 that means the final value is 2 like this way we need to trace the right answers for final value and initial value theorems.